have one more amazing healing testimony. If you could please welcome Christina as she comes up on the stage. Put your hands together for Christina. She received an amazing, amazing healing. And she will share with us. Here you go, hon. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Christina, would you please share with us um, what were the things you struggled with health-wise? I had gastri gastritis. I was diagnosed about, oh, I'd say about 11, 12 years ago. And it was terrible. I mean, it was a real struggle. I had to stay home all the time. I couldn't go anywhere because my, my stomach would just, out of nowhere, it would just start blowing out to here without any warning and it would stay out there for a long, long time. And people at the hospital, I'd go to the ER, they said they didn't even know what it was. They'd never seen anything like it before. And so and I so just you, were, were you in constant, <laughs> constant pain? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. For about 10 years? Yeah, a little more wow. than that. And mm -hmm. tell us what happened when you came to this place. What did you experience? How did you receive your healing? I had been here one time before, I think, and I, I was sitting in the back, and the uh, pastor was preaching, and he said to everyone, there's someone with gastritis, and um, I want you to put your hand on your stomach. And I thought, oh, I have that. That's, that's what I have. <laughs> so I put my hand there, and he said that, um, sorry, uh, that it would probably start to get, feel some heat underneath my hand. God is healing somebody of gastritis. I curse that gastritis in your stomach right now in Jesus' name. Fire of the Holy Spirit, you will feel heat that's going in your body, in the place in your belly right now. Just place your hand on your belly. If you have gastritis, place your hand there and just say, Holy Spirit, take care of it right now. And I, I was waiting and waiting and I, I didn't really feel any heat, but then it started getting warm. And I was with my girlfriend when she had to go. So, I mean, I was like, I'm going to be the first one to leave. And when we were walking out into the foyer, I said to her, I said, you know, I have gastritis. And she said, really? And I said, yeah. And I'm like, still holding on to my stomach and it's getting warmer and warmer and wow. warmer. Oh, gosh. Well, when I, got, when I got home, I was like feeling a whole lot better. Oh, and I couldn't sleep. It was just great. I was telling everyone and I was mm -hmm. testing it and testing it and testing it. It was gone. It was right. Gone. So mm -hmm. Pastor Vlad had mm -hmm. word of knowledge that somebody in this sanctuary has a gastritis and you put your hand on it and the heat start coming up your stomach, right? Yeah. And when you came home, you felt better. Now, what happened next morning? How did you notice that the pain was completely gone? Because I, well, I, I, one thing is if I had anything dairy, it would really get it started. Or if I just used my muscles at all, it would start it and it would just start slowly moving out, moving out, moving out. So like, I mean, all the way out here to where my back was like this. And I couldn't breathe. I, I couldn't breathe because there was so much air or gas or whatever was in there. So I couldn't even breathe. And, um... So I would test it, like I'd have a little bit of milk or something and nothing, nothing. And, I, and then I'd use the muscles and nothing, it wasn't happening at all. And I was getting, so, I was mad. Come on, let's so put exciting. our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> now, Christina, how long it's been since you don't have that pain anymore? Let's see, I think it's been about a month now. A month, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Come on, this is awesome. Our God is good, amen? <laughs> 10 years, every single day, she was experiencing excruciating pains. And after the Holy Spirit touched her, the pain was completely gone. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and lastly, Christina, would you please share a word of advice for people who might be struggling with sickness on this place today? What would you suggest them? I would say never think that it might not be you or that you're, it, it couldn't happen for me or, you know. I mean, I, I prayed and prayed for God to bless me with more faith, more faith, and, and I guess it worked. Because, <laughs> I mean, it really, it, it can happen to anyone. And just knowing that he, 
He died on the cross for all of us, and thousands of years ago, he already did the work. And I, I, I've learned that, and it's just, I'm so in love with him now. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Our God is good, and all the time, our God is good.